What's going on everybody? 5280 Reefer here. It's been a long time since I've done any kind of update or anything, honestly. Since I tore down the Nuvo 45, um, I've basically gone to Russia for three months. Uh, had fun there with my family. I still have a sister and multiple aunts and auntie, uh, uncles and grandmother and stuff living out there. After that, uh, went to Armenia to visit my wife's parents and family and had some fun over there too. Uh, makes you really appreciate where we are and where we live and what we have. That's definitely a thing. But anyways, that aside. Uh, so the current new setup is a Aquion 90 gallon Reef Ready. Um, the stand that comes with it. I've got about 85 pounds of Florida dry rock in there. Uh, I've got 40 pounds of uh, reef grade special sand or whatever, reef grade sand aragonite from Carib Sea. Um, let's see. I have a little Innovative Marine 5 gallon ATO reservoir. The good old Apex Classic. Now for the overflow, I've done a bean animal or a herbie, whichever one, uh, one full siphon, siphon and uh, one emergency overflow, just in case. And I ran the return on the back of the tank. You can see it runs all the way up the back into the tank. And also you see this little bit of water running right here. What I ended up doing is making a little pin size hole in the back of this return. Um, so when, and what ends up happening is if I shut off my return pump, um, it'll break the siphon. Air will go inside of it and it won't end up siphoning a good chunk of my tank water into my sump. And you, as you guys can see, down at that end, there is my Gyre XF230 that I had on my Nuvo. It's set at about 70, no, 90% right now. Now, uh, I did paint the back of the aquarium. Uh, I used Rust-Oleum oil-based paint. It's some good stuff. Did a good job. I like it. I know vinyl would have been easier, but whatever. Rust-Oleum was easier to, get, easier to get a hold of. Now let's go down into the sump. So, sorry about the light. It's kind of dim in this room. This was my office. Well, still is kind of. Um, all right. I've got a Apex Reservoir, the Dose Doser Reservoir, the Dose Doser itself. I've got the Apex Energy Bar right there, Brain Unit there. Um, that is the full siphon with the gate valve and then the emergency. They come down into that section and then go up, that's the bubble catch, go up and into a section where I have cut out uh, filter floss. Well, it's actually same material that, um, what, are, what are those called? Not collection cups, filter socks are made out of. So I have a bunch of those. I'm gonna be changing those out probably once a week, once every two weeks. I don't know, we'll see. Depends on how fast they get clogged. Got one Eheim 150 watt and then a 100 watt for heaters. It's more than enough for this tank. Since this room is the hottest room in the house and tends to stay around 74 to 75 degrees for ambient temperature. Now this is the refugium section. Got some rock in here. Got the Kessel H380. That's gonna be the powerhouse filtration of this tank. Um, got a JBAL DCP or DCT 8000 going into a 3 fourths barb fitting. Uh, got some barbed hose and going into the return that way. Uh, DCP 8000. All right, let's see. So the tank has been up and running for about 
two days now. Um, filled it up, filled it up with RODI water. It took an extremely long time since I only have a 75 gallon per day RO unit. It took about three days. And uh, got the water in there, got the temperatures up to the right temperature, brought the salinity up, um, threw some food in there, and I dosed the tank with some stability for bacteria in the bottle. I've heard a lot of good reviews, never really used it myself to start a tank, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully good. Um, so far, I do not have lights over this tank and I do not have a skimmer. Um, it, I've literally spent a crap ton over the traveling and holidays and stuff like that, so kind of broke right now. But that's all right. Um, I'm going to let the tank mature and cycle for at least a month, maybe even two. I'm thinking at the month point when once the initial phase of the cycle is going to be over and I'm not going to have any more ammonia and nitrite, I'm going to end up getting some cleanup crew. I'm going to throw in some snails. Um, I'm going to throw in two cleaner shrimp because that's what I want in here, at least two, uh, and maybe a fire shrimp. We'll see depends um and then once i get lights uh i will start adding fish and the plan is going to be to only get lps and a couple of softies like some zoanthids uh, some palithoa some acans things like that some hammers some frog spawn some torches um and then at about i'm thinking the four to five month mark since the tank has started is when, I st when I'll start adding SPS. Uh, but yeah, so this is the new tank. This is the new project. And stick around, guys. More videos to come. And I do apologize about the video quality. Uh, it's not on my camera. This is on my iPhone. Uh, so hopefully the quality is not too bad, guys. It's not too shaky. All right, guys. Let me know what you think. Thanks.